I'm John Champion, and here alongside me in the commentary box is Jim Beglin. Thanks, John. Hello, everyone. I mean, what an atmosphere we've got in this stadium today. It's all very, very exciting. Played in accurately. Looking to carve open the defence. Felipe. Carved away. William. Places into the danger area. Smalling. Can he get there? De Gea does what goalkeepers are paid to do. It's Hazard. Diego Costa. Driven in. They were so nearly punished for their mistake. Well, I think the opposition was pretty sloppy in creating a problem for themselves then, but he was onto it so quickly and, and very nearly made them pay. 
still goalless here at the moment. Diego Costa. Looking to receive the ball, break could be on. Pulled up for a foul. William still waiting for that first goal. Well intercepted, saw the danger and got to it. It's Diego Costa. The danger was there, he dealt with it well. And a Herrera. Rooney. Good ball, right down the middle. Here's Van Persie. Play surges forward. Goal! Manchester United! So we start again at 1-0. Oh look, it's lovely having a player with such ability in your side. He's always capable of coming up with something important. And he's done it again. Important interception, things were starting to look dangerous. And there's the end to the first 45. Well, they definitely won't be happy with that half. They seem to lack a bit of desire, especially going forward. It wouldn't surprise me to see a change or two. Here we go with the second half. Hazard. The keeper's got it. Di Maria, Rooney, and a Herrera. It's Diego Costa. Some dangerous moments, but he was there to intervene. Diego Costa. It's a really good try, but no goal. Oh, he couldn't have hit that any better. Any other time, it would have sneaked in. That will encourage another try, though. Forward it goes. Well played, that got them out of trouble. Diego Costa. Well, he was given the time and room initially to hold on to the ball, but eventually he was squeezed that bit harder and the task became too much. I think he's got to be a little quicker in his distribution then and get others into the match. He's done very well there. A shame. Well, he knew he needed a better angle to get a shot away, and I suppose at least he showed the best option, it just didn't come off. And he wasn't far off. Well, there's no doubt that the whole team revolves around him now. He leads by example, and he's become the main pivot. Crack and play. Hazard, he's onside. What a chance that was. They may live to regret that. showing 75 minutes they seem devoid of options but they have to do something well it's a case now who wants to be the hero because they need somebody to step up
Remy tries to slide it past the defence. He scores! Well, it certainly livened things up a bit, and that next goal now is absolutely crucial. That really was quite remarkable. You know, it's the modern ball that makes such a difference to shots like that. If you connect well, it will swerve and dip all over the place. It's just so hard to predict. They kick off with parity restored. Well, that goal just serves to give them the momentum and psychological edge now at this stage, but for me, they've got to chase a winner. Full time whistle within sight. Remy plays it long. Smalling. Glint. It's Rooney. The opposition posing a few questions, but he's able to intercept. Tried to play it through. Surely he's in! And we've got a goal! And right at the death, this surely has to be the winner. And it's no accident when this kind of thing happens. Top players are elevated to such a level because they have the will to keep going and the composure. There's the final whistle. You can, I think, put this down as a tactical victory. They adapted so well to cope with the opposition's changes, even if perhaps along the way they did enjoy a little luck. You know, it's a privilege to be part of a